Hey guys, how's it going? This is Rage, and today I'm bringing you guys something a little bit different, but at the same time slightly similar to my channel. I am going to be doing a post-commentary video, but this time I'm doing it over some Halo 4 footage. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I picked this game up recently, and I fell off the market for the longest time with first-person shooters, other than Bioshock Infinite. Just because... I never really got very competitive with gaming, or I actually was very competitive at one point. I used to play Halo 3 religiously, uh, Gears of War 2, which you really couldn't say is a first person shooter, but it got to the point where I'd sit there on my Xbox and I'd spend close to three hours a night, maybe even four, just playing first person shooter games and any kind of shooter game, and I got very competitive and very aggressive for a while, so I stopped playing it. But that's not actually what I want to talk about today. Today I want to talk about something a little bit different. I want to talk about the idea of money and privileges. Just because a lot of people don't really talk a lot about the economy and money and privileges. Just because it's one of those topics where people are like, Oh yeah, well, is this safe to talk about with other people? Like, are people going to accept this? So, crazy man's inviting me to party with a dick. But it's just, it's not one of those things where it's so highly regarded where everybody sits there and they're willing to share it. And... I say that because I would hate to do a Halo 4 video where I'd sit here and I'd start off and be like, okay, so I drop down in this room and I, I look on my radar, I see some guys showing up, so I'm going to pull out my assault rifle, I'm going to lace him up, killed him, I see his buddies here, I'm going to shoot him, I'm dying, I'm going to go hide around this corner, I'm almost dead. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't like that, so I'm going to go with the idea of the topic I had in mind and the reason why this felt important to talk about, at least to me, is because I work in a sports store where I sell sports equipment, as you could probably assume, but the location of my store is actually fairly close to a, I guess, higher wealth percentage of communities. So there's a sizable amount of communities around my work that have a higher wealth percentage of people coming in to shop. So I see a lot of situations where people will come in there and they're like, oh yeah, I'm looking for a pair of cleats for my son and or daughter so they can play soccer, so they can play rugby, or maybe they're looking for some shoes for lacrosse. You never know. It, it ranges from time to time, right? But the reason why I bring this up is because I actually had a customer come in with her son. And she came in and she noticed one of her friends that was there with her or around the same time. And they were talking about sports that their kids were doing and both of them are actually getting their kids into rugby and rugby is kind of a growing trend here in my area right now it's a good sport but it's one of those things where she was getting her son into it and it kind of shocked me because she sits there and she starts off by saying oh yeah my son just recently did speed skating over the winter he did uh, hockey for a couple of years and we're trying him out with speed skating and this summer we're doing rugby because we did football for a couple of years and we did uh, soccer as well and I'm just absolutely blown away and it really got me to think of when I was a kid and I feel a lot of us will take for granted a lot of the privileges we do have because when I was growing up I had a lot of privileges to do things I I can't really say I always had the new new gaming system or new video game software to come out but I I, I got it fairly recent you know GameCube would come out maybe six months later, eight months later. Saved up enough money and my parents would lend me some money so I could get the new system. But I was very privileged to have this idea of internet, gaming, even like interest and in finding out what I liked. My parents were always so open with the fact that it's like, oh, you're interested in learning an instrument. All right, well, you want to play piano? All right, we'll start you off in piano. See how you like that. Oh, you're interested in learning to play the saxophone. All right, we'll start you off with that. There's six years of that as well. Oh, now you're interested in playing the drums. All right, well, we'll be open to the idea of you doing it, but you have to get it yourself. And they fronted me the money for the time being so I could get my drum kit, pay them off, and then everything went from there. But it's also the idea of, like, even when I was a kid, sports was the exact same way. Soccer, football, basketball. Like, there were so many things that I did as a kid. And I'm so grateful I had all those opportunities just to find out. I was never really that sports kid. I've never been a very athletic person. But at the same time, I had that privilege to try all these different sports and find out which ones I like. And I love football. But I'm just, I'm not very athletic. So it's not like it really interested me to the point where I could go play football competitively. At the same time, I have played music. Not quite 
competitive because you can't really be competitive. But at the same time, I did play in a band for a little while, like my school band for the saxophone, and then I was in a band with a couple of my buddies for a while playing the drums, although that has fallen apart now. But it's just, I'm just so lucky to have that privilege to try all those things, and it really bothers me to see that we take for granted all these special like privileges we have whereas in some countries you give a you give a kid like a soccer ball and a pair of cleats and say here go have fun and that kid will be the happiest person on the face of the earth because he got something he doesn't normally get and he would not expect to get and we get to that point in our lives where we expect so many different things and it all boils down to the idea of money and I am very privileged to live in the area I do I'll be honest, I do live in a sort of area where, again, like I said, close to where I work, it's kind of the higher wealth. I've had all these capabilities and privileges to try all these things, and I'm very grateful for that. And it's one of those things that finally hit me, not just recently, but it's one of those things that it, it really came to realization in my mind that's like, wow, I'm lucky for this. I really could not ask for any more right now in life. Sure, there's a lot of things I'd enjoy to have. But I can honestly say in my life, I never had the opportunity to do anything because I didn't have the privileges. I always, I always had the opportunity to do something, and I found my interest, and I'm really grateful for it, you know? And I think it's something we could all learn in life to be a little bit more grateful. I'm not saying people are ungrateful, but there's a lot of situations where, in society, we are not fully grateful for the opportunities we're given and just everything in general. So, as you can see with this clip, that's one of the reasons I did put this in here is because A, I love the saw, B, assault rifle is awesome, C, uh, overkill, I guess is what it's called in this, or killing spree, I have no idea. Oh, killing spree is five, I think. I don't know, I'm very used to playing mobile games where it's like double kill, triple kill, quadra kill, penta kill, when it's just five people, right? Like League of Legends or Smite, maybe a little bit of Dota is kind of similar to that. But, either way, I, I just kind of felt this was one of those things where I really wanted to get it across. And I felt a first-person shooter would be a good game where I could appeal to people with some sort of footage where people would be like, Oh, this is interesting, but at the same time get something, get my point across and get my voice heard. So I hope you guys can kind of relate to this idea of how privileged you are, how lucky you are. Wow, that was pretty stupid. And just how grateful you can be. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this, please subscribe and like the video. It helps me out a lot. Thanks a lot, guys.